So we go to another plane, which is tangent to create another way of creating the plane, which is tangent to surface two edges. So again, we are in the part 24, so that is the previous file. So I'm going to save this file as part 25, meaning that one, part 25, save that one. So let's begin by creating the tangent to surface through edge. So I'm going to change my view. So from visual style, so we have shaded edges. So put my shadows on. Then I will be creating uh, uh, creating the plane which is tangent in this uh, cylinder and and by means of this edge. So selecting initially our edge, our surface of our cylinder, then selecting the edge. Okay, we have created that or working plane. So you will see that it is defined by this edge and the surface of the cylinder. So again, let's try again one more while using this cylinder. So I'm going to create from the 3D model, we have a uh, plane. Then selecting the tangent to surface to edge. So selecting the surface and we have your edge. Okay, the plane is being created. Now, uh, the beauty of this one, we can create directly or let's say we can draw directly on the surface by using our 2d sketch so if i will make my 2d sketch on the surface i'm gonna click it now to this surf uh, surface of our work plane so we can directly create our sketch here so uh, i'll be creating a sample i will be creating a circle okay just only to define and to show you uh, how we will be using this one so let's try to move this drawing so by means of this one we'll try to move it by means of our base point so we have your base point here try to move it here and done and i will be pro so projecting also these edges so that we have the basis for constraining our circle so giving the dimension for this one so i'm gonna make it uh, around 40 mm then still got two dimensions needed to constrain so giving the dimension for this one so we have the dimension which is 24.5 so i'm gonna change this one to 25 and this one so giving a dimension which is 106 so i'm gonna change this one to 100 okay and i'm gonna finish finish my sketch and I will be extruding that surface, extruding it now. So let's try to give it in a two direction here and also touching on the surface. Okay. And two. And this one. We have now created a surface which is tangent, no? That is tangent to the surface of the cylinder. I'm going to click OK. So we have now created that one. So hiding my uh, work plane, hiding that one, visibility, and this one also your visibility. So we have now created a few part features which is tangent to the surface of the cylinder. So don't forget to save this file. We have our part 25, so save one. And let's proceed to the other topic.